What's up everybody and welcome back for another episode of The Walking Dead. Last video I finished the first episode, A New Day, and then we got a little preview of what this episode is going to be like. Uh, it looks like they're each going to be in three parts for each like episode within the game. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to The Walking, or not The Walking Dead, uh, to Red Dead tonight, uh, but I have some plans for some time to film tomorrow, so then the... I'm getting the names confused. Then Red Dead Redemption should be up, my first video of that tomorrow as well. And then an additional one of these, hopefully. I do work full time, so my timing is a little bit crunched sometimes, but I love playing video games, so that's what I'm here to do. I announced on Instagram today that Saturday is going to be Stardew Saturday, so I'm going to be posting Stardew Valley videos every Saturday. They'll probably be around like 10 to 15 minutes of like tips and tricks and just things that I love about the game. Um, and I want it to be a community involvement, so if there's something that you want to see, if there's questions about the game that you have, suggestions for a video, anything like that, you can let me know in the comments on Instagram or you can join my Discord, which is linked in every video. But anyway, let's get into this next episode. All right, what's it called? Starved for help. That doesn't sound good, does it? I need to write that down so I know the name of it. I love that it's set up like a Netflix show. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, oh, their first I want meeting. my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when- You got it, boss. <laughs> Son mm. of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. It's really cool that they give you this full preview so you don't forget anything between episodes. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your He's ass. doing pretty good so far though. I'm impressed. Yes, I know, I know, I know. That's like the biggest stressor. Right, where are we going now? Telltale Games. I love Telltale Games now. I'm gonna play more of their games too. I didn't realize that I would like this kind of game so much. I'm used to like fast-paced action, but these are really good. They really make you think. Three months later, okay. Nice. Just getting right into the hacking and slashing. Who's this Dang. guy? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> hmm. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. This must be Maybe the other people that they the met up with in that preview. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. I like no that Lee's in different clothes now, instead of that bloody blue shirt. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's oh, just worried the about drama. his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the I lack of I am a sucker for this drama. It's like reality time, TV. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? 
Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Hopefully I don't get all these characters confused. There are so many of them. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, I remember that. Guy's a jerk, honestly. I keep waiting for something good to come out of him and it's not happening yet. Maybe it will eventually. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! What? Okay, suddenly something's wrong back there. Always gotta be in crisis in this game. Run! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. But we just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, teacher? You guys okay? What? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. You gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. Right, just My stop dad talking was special about it. Do forces. Something. I know what I'm doing. No, just you see don't. if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. <laughs> we gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. It doesn't you. look like he'd been bitten. Fine, so it looks like he hurry. just stepped in the trap. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Oh, no. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Shit. no. Walkers! It's and I'm gonna have to make leave. a decision. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Crap. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Oh god, you can't bad. die! Really bad. Just get me out! There's please. gotta be something we can do! Something. We're gonna be surrounded gonna any to, minute! Like, please! How would somebody get out of this? Try to cut the Go. chain! I have to cut you out. No, no, no! Oh my god. Try the trap again! Anything, please! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> He's gonna die. He's not gonna survive ah, this. Lee, it has to be now! Oh my god. Listen, if this ever happens to me, wait, it, the game glitched. Oh, Damn no. it, Lee, just cut off his fucking Oh no, leg. I can't, the game glitched. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to- Oh no, it didn't, it was just a weird- Angle, it made you look at it from the tendon angle. Oh my gosh. Oh, God. Shit, is he-, he If that ever out. happens to me, no. Just leave me. No way. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. He's gonna die. This game is so graphic, but I kind of dig it actually. It's not normally my thing, but behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Ah! Travis, turn around and run, dude. This guy's not gonna survive, anyways. No! I mean, he was kind of dumb, <laughs> honestly. Game. So graphic. I thought the game glitched, but it just had you like I mean you saw it just had you like looking at the freaking tendon as you axed it in half. Ugh. It's a cool intro though.
I like the community camp aspect. I always love that in games. Oh, they seem so bored and like they're feeling helpless and hopeless. He's probably going to see them running or something. Oh, is that like a sign or a signal about something? Get the gates open! Yeah, I figured. We've got wounded! Okay. Shit! What the hell are they doing? S Sorry, Come on. Come on. I had to decide to save people. Although I don't what know if we're going to save this guy. What's going on? We have time to explain. Me? And I okay? definitely don't truck. trust I'll these see kids. What I can, do. Kat, okay? can you fix them? Jesus, Ken. Lee, I, I don't know. Lee, what the hell? You can't just be bringing me people her. here. <laughs> what are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we point, left him. I guess. So actually. what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Yeah, I well, didn't think about on. that, actually. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. I don't know if I buy this, like, Welcome stupid college boy act that they have going on. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? Oh. No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little She's group. She's so cute. But we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey. I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. matter who's in charge. Yeah. Those people are here now. Just need to work together. We just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. Oh my god. You know, god. it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. Oh crap. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. I mean, that's Dad, kind of please. the truth, though. Why don't Actually. you go help Mark with the wall? See, I think Carly would make a better leader, but I've known Kenny you longer. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that I think that's her name. I'm going to get everyone confused. Nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Wow, Good that's luck. really sad. Crap, I can't choose who eats. What the heck kind of choice is that? You only have four food items for ten hungry people. What is this? Oh my gosh, no. Why? Mm. Okay. Obviously, I have to pick Clementine. Like... How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you oh. help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've oh. got to take care of something. They're things. so cute. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I was going to feed her, though. I didn't want to give her food. Can I give him food? Yeah, why can't I give- Oh, I can. Yeah. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. 
Yeah, I give half. Oh, half an apple. Yeah, okay. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That oh. was the last one. I love oh. their relationship. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. I'm not feeding this guy. He just got here. No way. Okay, maybe I'll come back for her. I gotta feed Kenny and Carly because I need them to step Will up. Will you hold the damn board steady? And be leaders. I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting so this I feel like they need to eat to do what that. What do you want? A handout? I'm not uh, giving I either of these two people food. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. No way I'm giving him food. It's definitely not gonna happen. Where is Carly? Nope. Okay. She's not over there then. Maybe she's over here. I know she's not there. Nope. What the heck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, feed both the kids then? But I feel like they can go longer without eating. Hmm. All right, feed both the kids. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. Hey, Doc. This I'm is a tough a choice, food. though. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Oh, and his family appreciate it. Okay, good. Cause I don't think. Oh, right there's Kenny. Where's Carly? Okay, yeah. Want something to eat? Wait, I thought I had four. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. I have one more, right? Keep the last piece? No. Yeah. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. Yeah. They're the ones that need it. This is a really interesting dilemma. Where is she? Wait, so this is Carly. That's not the person. Oh, she's the person I saved. What's that other girl's name then? That, that mean guy's How's daughter. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks oh, like you're there playing she favorites. Is. God, but you're a jerk, homie. You're really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Want something to eat? Yeah. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was All the right. last time you So ate? that's Carly. Okay. I need to figure out the other girl's name. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine And which one was the weak. reporter? I might have to look some of this stuff up I know after I said this. it just didn't so much matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Alright, I fed everybody, right? Wait, why do I still have that icon? Wait, wait, no, 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 I thought I fed her. Wait, how do I still have another one? Here. I'm confused, but okay. I don't want anything from you. I don't eat then. Fine. Okay, yeah, you're just like your dad then. I'm not feeding him. Maybe I'll go over here. What the heck? Can I feed him? No, I'm not feeding him. He's one of the new here, people. Eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Nobody wants my freaking injuries. food that I'm trying what to I mean, give out. Cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I think, I at least. It. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. That is very true. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay, that's it. She's just gonna take my food. And if she wants to be mean about it, that some people she'll love that way, I guess, right? 
Just eat it. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. Some people are just really closed off anything. initially. I don't even know what she's salty about. No, I didn't oh, choose her as a leader it. yet. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have Agreed. a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What As happened to always. my food? Shut up. I fed your daughter. Left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, we yeah. need to get rid of well, this guy. Well, I don't see you working on that wall. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Alright, now what? Let's maybe check on Clem. See how she's doing? That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. Yeah. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay. You take good care of it then. She's so cute. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? It's better just to be honest with kids. I'm not sure. I hope he will. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? That's a good uh, question. Who's gonna want to know? I'm yeah. Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Oh, maybe some they are of... nice then. I don't know. They need to get some something. food somewhere. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe they do sound nice. Hey, Ben. I hope you understand why I didn't give you any food. I'm new. I get it. It's fine, Lee, really. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I, I hope, sure so. hope so. Pretty talk to her. Maybe yes. we should think about leaving the motel. We God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. No we though. have a routine now, and it's working. No, it's not. No. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. Yeah, and you she's kind of being a that. brat right now, Look, honestly. I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. They need to go, like, raid a town or something. Yeah, I guess I should go talk to Kenny, actually. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Mm hmm Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Yeah, we need does to sound leave. Like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. 
The thing is, we need to figure out how to take everyone somehow, though. Let's see if there's an option to ask her. What should we do about the kid? If it were up to me, I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But she's that's nice. up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, Lily. I don't want to get on okay. her bad side. That's right, Lily. Okay, yeah. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. All right, let's go talk to these people over here again, I guess. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, it's good to get to know people exactly and build rapport, standard. especially no in a situation like this. There. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Sorry, there, was, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Got to be hard to make those decisions. Just yeah, I can't imagine time. actually doing that in real Lily's life. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but but nothing. She's making the smart God. choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. This guy is so annoying. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, I'm not Mark, giving it to help. Larry. <laughs> no way. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? He literally punched him in the face when zombies me? were running he in. He knows why. No way. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. Oh, no. I figured that was going to happen, though. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, I didn't think so either. What about the other kid? Um. Holy cow. Uh, what am I supposed to do? What the heck? Move, move! What? Shit, it's stuck! Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. It's not very clear, like, what you need to do. You just kind of have to figure out. Use S to back to get away. This game is so old. <laughs> Crap, I died. I haven't died in a really long time. Move, move. Right, let's try again. <laughs> Shit, it's stuck. I'm clicking this to back up. I guess I didn't hit as fast enough last time. These are all in like so intimate spaces and they all happen so slow. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten. You got all you kinds of achievements in this game now. That's work. really cool. But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, I wonder how that happened. Know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. 
you come back no matter how you die. If you don't what? destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. You're lying. It's true. What? I swear it. I've never heard of Maybe that. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Oh no. Jesus Christ. That's gonna you add a huge die, twist to all of this. That's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When that's I just gonna add happen, more stress to this game. We were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone mm -hmm. went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Oh no. Oh, these Whoa, are the people lady, I relax. Those other Me ones and my were. brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Mm. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If oh, that's where we're going. Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh no. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. We've got to try Couple something. Gallons I have no power food. one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Those accents, though. <laughs> it's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. He's like a gentle voice. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Okay, so she's the reporter. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. She probably does. She's a smart kid. To her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group. I really about like her. You don't have a lot. to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a Journalism can times. be a really, it doesn't really have to make hard you field. A bad man. And what she just said is definitely the truth. I appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee So far, it seems did. like Lee is a really right, kind Lee? guy. Yeah, I really why like don't you tell us a little more about yourself, character. Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Oh, no. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people the you truth, got over there anyway? even in today's anyway? society. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Yeah, I well, want to trust them, but I feel like I have to dairy. really think like these I things said, through here. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. What? No one's that? trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? 
Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, they are. and you guys were keeping it all to yourselves. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking oh, do? Oh no, about what are we gonna do? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Jesus! Asshole! Why? The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Hell let's yeah. get to the dairy where it's safe. My gosh, someone dies like every five minutes in this game. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. A cute place. I wouldn't mind living there. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? So at least out? they were telling the truth you about betcha. that. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Oh no. <laughs> All right, uh, ever have any accidents? This is Brian set up. We can't leave. Yeah. Ever have any accidents? Nah. Because there are a lot of kids. Than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all I the seriously view. would love to I live there. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This oh, here's no. Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. She seems a little bit they creepy, though. got a few though. more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Um, she's creepy. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't oh, get stuff I don't like know that if anymore. I trust that though. Not without a cow for milk. How did they butt, get this that's stuff? Sure. That's right. Hopefully, Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Oh no. Your cow is sick. What she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd um, be nice to have some folks to help out around how here How does she again. have enough food Danny, to prepare a big feast? Help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Something's gonna take go wrong. Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Something's Lee, not gonna go wrong. Why don't you this? take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking Ooh. over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Hmm... Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is yeah, as safe I as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. This guy's really nice. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Alright. Walk over here first. Too bad it's broken. 
I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to I play I bet we on. can fix it, though. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. I really Mama do sure think the does kids appreciate y'all helping out. If Looks they like actually get to come here. Board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Sounds good to me. Alright, I have an axe. Can I use it? I can't walk any further back there, though. Okay. I don't know about all this. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Gotta play it off. You know this. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines. She's a little too upbeat for me. Like, I don't know how you could be this upbeat right now. What happened to the rest of you, staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Not Some true. of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help okay. with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Lee's such a good man. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one mm. day, this the poor world family. changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. All right. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. obvious she's not gonna let me in the house right now so um there we so go what have you found out is this looking like a good place to stay I'll keep looking around all right keep me posted It's cool, you get really get to examine everything. Hmm. Pointy. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's wood. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, there's a saw right next to it. For the swing. 
Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> okay. I really, really love games with the community aspect, like making the swing for the kids and stuff like that. That's just so cool. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. If these people really are this nice, I feel like it's too good to be true. I still need rope, though. I bet it's just gonna tell me that I still need rope. The board is good, but I need some rope. Hmm. I didn't see any rope over here. Let me double check and then I'll try to go through the gate again, I guess. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Okay. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. Upward. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. I really hope they're as nice as they seem. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Makes sense. You found out the others were... okay. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators That's are nasty. enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And Sorry, like this us? episode's a little bit longer than usual, just waiting for Mark it to and save. I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. It literally... okay, it should save now. Perfect. Okay, so because this video is already like 50 minutes, I'm gonna stop here and when we come back, we'll, you know, finish so fence the, look? the fence and we'll stay? redo this whole conversation yeah. right here. It's so, as always, thank you so much stay. for watching. Let me just pause it. Thank you so much for watching and being here. I really appreciate it. Obviously, you know, I have a lot of plans for the channel and things coming up. Um, for everyone who comments and likes these videos, it means a lot to me uh, just to interact with you guys. Uh, let's think, what can we talk about in the comments this time? Without spoiling anything, what do you guys think about this family? If you've played it, then just a spoiler free if you can. And if you haven't played it, or do you feel as sketched out as I do about them? Because I feel like they're being a little bit too nice, but it is kind of southern hospitality what they're doing. So I hope that's not the case because we really need food right now. So, as always, I will see you guys next time.